that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? You know, death, taxes, the sun rising tomorrow, and another day that Blade isn't in movie theaters. (laughs) All consistent things in this little adventure we call life. Ah, yes, Blade. They just recently, in case you've been living under a rock, they lost another director recently. They still do What's that? Ray is aware. Yeah, Ray Ray is very aware of all this. He's keeping very close track of this. We still don't have, as far as we know, a completed script, that that a shooting script that they're ready to work from. There's no way in hell at this point they meet that November uh, 2025 release date. Mm. I I mean, if they do, great, but I just don't see how that's going to be at all possible now. Our lead... The two-time, two-time Academy Award-winning actor Mahershala Ali is today five years older than he was when they announced him playing Blade. And it's left a lot of people, some people even wondering, they just don't care about Blade. Now, I, I've, I've personally never believed that. I mean, I think if Kevin Feige didn't care about Blade, he would just say, eh, we're not doing Blade. Yeah. It's just that simple. But he clearly wants to do Blade, and they're trying. Well... One of the co-stars of Blade that we don't actually talk about a lot in Mia Goth, she was recently promoting her new film, Maxine, and they specifically asked her about the delays to the project. And she said something that some people, maybe Ray, might take as maybe a bit of an encouraging sign. Our friends over at Joe Blow wrote this, Mia Goth was cast in the film back in April 2023, and rumors have been swirling that she'll be playing the villainous character Lilith. Lilith is known in the comics as the supernatural character who tries to take the blood of Blade's daughter. As Goth walked the red carpet at the premiere of her upcoming film, Maxine, she speaks briefly to Deadline about the people behind the making of the film. Her reply to the inquiry about the delays and everything, she said this, They really care about Blade. They do. They want to make a great movie. That's the sense I get from them, and that feels good. Okay. While there have been a lot of pessimistic people who've been saying, oh, they just don't care about Blade, I've never believed that. There have also been defenders saying, John, what's the problem? They just want to make sure they make a really good movie. Okay. I believe that. (laughs) But they want to make sure they make a really good movie every time they make a movie. And they've managed to make 30 other ones that have come off relatively smoothly. Some a little bit more bumpy than others. But Mia Goth now, one of the stars of the movie, instead of coming out and complaining. And saying, you know, I've had my schedule on hold to make this thing, blah, blah, blah. She's saying that in her talks with them and the impression they're getting is that they're just really committed to wanting to make the best Blade movie they can. Now, <laughs> to which Ray chuckles. I'm just saying it should be an Oscar contender by now. <laughs> it should be up for the Oscars. It should it should have been on Disney Plus by now. I mean, that's where it should have been by now. I, I've learned to cope with the pain. You know, something happens often. You start, you know, you just start be, becoming immune to all the hurt yeah. and pain. This Desensitized. This numb. Yeah, numb. I'm so numb to the delays. It doesn't matter. They could delay every day. It won't affect me anymore. <laughs> well, I got I news don't for believe you. that. They're gonna. I don't believe that it won't uh, yeah. affect you anymore. I'm actually go- I actually have this picture in my head. Remember the Fallout series when they go into that medical facil- yeah. facility and they have all those um uh, those zombies inside the, zombie the little glass things? I have a feeling Mia Goth and Mahershala are going to be in one of those things waiting, <laughs> waiting for, for the Blade, Blade to movie to come out. I mean, I I I don't I, Whatever. <laughs> whatever. What? It's just Ray, become whatever. Ray or on the John Cable Show co- comments on the status of a blade. Whatever. <laughs> At this point. Okay, but, but let me ask you this, though, Ray. As the one in the room who's... I'm excited about Blade too, but I think it's easy to say that you're the most, ex- the most excited in this room about Blade. One of the stars is now saying, look, the, basically implying that the main reason this thing is taking so long is because they are simply not willing. This is the implied message that they are not willing to just rush something out like that if it's not at a place even though it's taking way longer than it should if it's not at a place that they feel good about it they're holding up because i would i'll tell you what ray if we were still under bob chapek i think at this point bob chapek just says 
screw it just make it whatever script you got now make it and get it out so we can put it on disney plus the last thing we need which is the last thing we need she seems to be implying they're so committed to this movie that even though it's taking an unreasonable amount of time, they want to make sure they get it just right. How do you feel about well, that? Well, my previous comments, like if you ever go back to any of our Blade Topic uh, segments, like I've, I've mentioned that I'm hoping it's because they want to release a good movie because right. it's a property that I love. It got me into Marvel, like I said. Um, I'm, I'm hoping she's right and this is not just no, no smoke smoke screen just right. be, and she doesn't really know what's going on because that's the worst like you know keep us updated with the real facts of if it's a real shit show if you have nothing if you're gonna just force this movie i i'm just there's no more uh taking like the numbers off the calendar to wait oh, yeah, like movie. a christmas advent if, if it comes out if it shows up on my front porch i'm gonna open the package but if not i'm just gonna say it's a lost I'm going to file a lost and found thing, whatever with the, you. <laughs> so here's the thing though, too. Like I, I am not of the mind that studios owe updates to audiences. I, I, I don't believe that at all, but in a situation like this, where you literally on stage, I think it was comic-con. Yep. You made a big deal in front of an audience of 6,000 people and a world watching we got something for you guys. Mahershala Ali is Blade and bring him out. And you, you are pushing out that story. You're advertising it to the world. And then year after year after year after year passes. I do not believe studios owe audiences explanations about where things are at. But I think there is an exception in the, in the case of Blade where you keep telling everybody, hey, guys, we're doing this. And we're now five years later. And we don't really know where things are in this one unique situation. Maybe they do owe the if, audience a bit of an explanation. If, if you can give us release windows and then back out of those windows most constantly, of the time, then I, I, yeah, they do kind of owe something else. I mean, now I'm just waiting. It doesn't matter what news comes up. What if even if the costume pictures come out, I want to see this thing in motion, like in front of my face in the theater. Yeah, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code Campia at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash slash campia to treat yourself anyway guys question is for you what do you think about this mia goth is saying listen the reason it's taking so long is because they just don't think they've had it right yet and they want to make sure they get it right to put it out sounds like a little bit of pr spin but but maybe there's legitimacy to that whatever you guys think about this jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple podcast spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it